I'm just showing you how to make one of the thick bands, which in the end will look like that. So, first of all, you grab one colour. Well, first of all, you turn it so the, the curved bits are facing away from you. So, they're facing towards you. So, you start like that. Secondly, you get one colour band and you put it from that one to that one and then you just go up the row and then you do the same with the other side well, then you do the next row which I put red you just put a band on top and keep going up all the way up but you do it all the way up there you leave a gap at the bottom there Sec thirdly you have to do the blue band so you do a blue band from there to there and then you do it all the way up again then you turn it round so it's like that and you put the triangles from the bottom all the way up to there. You don't do it on the last one. You don't do it where it crisscrosses. And then you start hooking them over, which is what I'm going to show you now. Yes. So you go so you go under the purple. So you get this. So first of all, I'm starting with the blue row. You go under the purple and oh and grab the blue one. It's quite hard to do it when I'm not when I'm not looking at it but it is really easy to do so it looks like that and then you do the middle red one so it looks like that and then you do the other side the purple one it doesn't have to be the same colors as this it can be whatever colors you like like that and then you just go all the way up the rows I'm going up the blue row first so you go under under the, um, the triangles and grab the one underneath it so you basically you grab the bottom band But when you get to the top of the row, there's one that crisscrosses over to there. You have to grab that one and bring it over to the middle top one. Then you do the same with the middle row, which is red for me. And you just keep going up and up. This one will take a lot quicker because you, need, you just grab the, band, the only band that is there. Which is really, really simple. I've been I've done this three times before, so I'm quite a I'm a beginner. So please forgive me if I do get something wrong. Then you do the last row, which is the purple row for me. As I said before, you can do absolutely any colour. You don't have to do the colours I'm using. Just these are the colours that have the most bands that I have and they're easier to use because they're more stretchy and also they were the first ones I picked out this one's taking a bit longer because I have to go through and grab instead of just grab like the one I did before but hopefully it won't take you too long and then as you get to the top you grab the only band that is there I've made a little mistake here. Yes, I know what I've done. Right, if that happens, so I have done it here, but that band in the middle that goes to the top one is on top of the band underneath. What you need is that the middle band to be on the bottom. So what you have to do is you take off the top layer of that and you just put it back on the other peg so it looks like that. Then the you have to take off this the this band, but you need to keep hold of it, otherwise the whole thing will fall apart. Keep hold of it, or put it on the peg above if it helps. Then you have to grab this one and put the one that's on the top back underneath it, so it looks like that. And then you grab the one that you've put back and you put it there and then you do the same from the top to the middle 
so it looks like that. So it's, you should have something look like that when you've done all of that. Yeah, it's so very happy with them. So then oh. this this is a bit tricky. You have to get a band, preferably an orange one, and a small peg, and maybe two if you find it difficult. Firstly, you get you get it and you kind of squish it down so it's quite thin, and you pop it through the middle bit. So right by there, but you have to put it through. So making sure you have every band at the top. And then you have to hold on to the orange band at the top with your fingers if you're doing it with one hook. If you're doing it with two, you hold it instead of holding it with your fingers, you hold it with the hook. And then you just bring that round so it's like that, and you put the other one with it. Then you get both of those on your fingers and take the hook out. Mine just fell apart. My orange band just came off, so you just need to do it again. It does take a few goes sometimes, and it might go a bit wrong. Well, if a band snaps, don't panic. You'll just have to start again if it's if it's in the middle. But if it's not, if it's just at the top, you just have to take the top bits off. So don't worry. Hopefully a band won't snap, because I've experienced that before. The one I made for my brother, it kept snapping. It was really annoying. The orange bands, the orange bands I got in this magazine thing, they weren't very strong. I'm going to have to change band because this is a bit curly. There we go. Alex? Have you brushed your teeth yet? No, I can't do it, please. So you do the same and you have it on your hook and then you just pop it on your fingers, making sure that you don't let go at any time. So it's like that. Then you get another finger and you get it like that so you've got it on two fingers. Then put one finger through the other finger, through the other band and then you just pull the one that you put through. So we're making a slip knot here. If you don't know how to make that or it's a bit complicated me explaining it, just look it up online and it will tell you how to make a slip knot. Or if you have a magazine about them they will tell you how to do a slip knot in there. Then you just take off the whole top peg and you just pull off the whole thing, every single bit, all of it. But you have to do it very carefully because if it snaps then you have to start again because you cannot put it back on the board once you've, um, once you've taken it off. I tried to make a snake this morning and it was, it went, it was going really well but it was so, I got really frustrated at the end because it just snapped. See here? It snapped. So I'm just going to try again. You have to keep trying it. It might not work the first time, but it will work the second time. Go away, Alex. And then you should have to find something like that. If the band's sticking out the side a bit, it doesn't matter. Just pull them through a bit more. So they're kind of even each side. And then you keep that slip knot thing, preferably on your finger, so it doesn't come undone. And you get your board and you face and you turn it so the curved bits are facing towards you you get whatever colour bands you like I'm chosen blue and you just put six of those on depending on how big your wrist is uh, you'll have to judge yourself because this is for my wrist not anyone else's one two three four five but if you have about the same um, wrists, about the same size wrist as me, then you should do six. And then you get the slip knot and you put that on the last one so it looks like that. Then you get a hook and you go. So you have this orange band here, you have to grab that blue band that's there, you pull it around. And put it on top of the next peg diagonal to it like that now you just do that all the way up I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done I'm sorry if you can hear some background splashes my mum's just in the bath at the moment and my brother's shouting because he's he always shouts and that's what you should have when you're done then you get an S clip 
I've chosen a green one today. And you put it on both of those bands. So you basically, you pull it off basically like that. You get the S-clip and you just slide it on. Then you can pull off it all, pull it all off. So it's like that. And you have something like that. Then you curl round the thing and S-clip it to this dangly bit at the end. So don't worry if you have dangly bit because it's supposed to be there. And then you have your very own braid. Loom band braid thing. I don't know what it's called. It's just thick. And you wear it. I've made three. The other one, one fell apart. I gave it to my brother and he broke it. And I made a rainbow one. You can do that by putting a red, yellow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And if you have a big one, rather than this, uh, if you have a bigger one than this, you can do it all the way up to purple, if you want to. So there, that is how you make really cool, thick rainbow looms like that. Bye.